hello guys welcome back to the channel today we are going to tie a v-shaped unconventional gilly style that is easy to do and very fine the measurement is 70 30. you are going to make eight splits you place at the back of your head or your client's head and bring forward Ensure that the V is at the center, then you go ahead to cross. When you're crossing, please ensure that the shorter one, that's your 30, goes to the back. Just watch and see how I do it. okay guys can you see how we turned it and took the short one all the way to the back now if you're doing it on a mannequin head you just pin down we'll come back to it but if you're doing it on your client's head or on someone's head as practice um when you take the shorter one to the back you're going to give to your assistant to hold but if you're making it with a mannequin head just pin it Then now we go over to the longer flap. You see how I'm taking it from the middle. You just spread it out there from the middle. You take and fold. This is not ruffles, but it may look like a ruffles gilly. You fold and roll, as you can see. Sorry guys, I didn't know that my setup was short. You know, everything is not showing like that. But you see how I folded it, that's how you're going to do it. Then you pin to the base. Now, this is what's going to take your time, you know, to ensure that it's neat, beautiful and stable. Can you see it? Then we go ahead to pin and arrange. Please guys, do not forget, when you stretch the 70 that we are going to make use of, you're going to take, like from the middle, that's for the width of the ghillie, you're going to take from the middle, then go ahead to start folding it. It doesn't have to be smooth, just fold it roughly. You get, that's how you're going to do the pin down. Therefore, this other part now that I'm doing, I'm bringing a little over to this other side. You know, so that everything will not be um, situated at one side of the V. But if you want it that way, you can do it also. Instead of you to pin it the way I'm pinning it, you can pin it directly on top of that place that you crossed. You get... When you're done positioning it the way you want, then you go ahead to pin so that it doesn't fall off. 
but the thing is that if you're making two with a strong gilly material it's not going to fall off but for safety purpose just you know pin together Can you see how our ghillie is turning out? It's very nice. Personally, I would like to rock this ghillie on myself. That's if I have anywhere to go. And also, um, you can rock this to church. That's for this Christmas or Thanksgiving service or Owambe parties. The ghillie is fine and it's good for any occasion. So do not think too hard about it. It's easy to do just through pa, pa, pa. you've already done everything you understand <laughs> don't mind me oh. now we are going to make do with the shutter one you see how we are going to do it you just fold it then you tuck it inside remember this is our base the one that covers the back you tuck it inside but now if you want to let your hair out you're not going to tuck it inside instead before you even start making your ghillie you're going to take more than eight pleats you know so that you're going to have room to bring out your hair you understand but if you're going to cover the hair you're just going to take the number of pleats that i took here you get So now we are done covering the back. Then you go ahead to start making finishing touches. Our ghillie is 80% done. Please guys, if you've watched up to this extent, do not forget to like, subscribe, comment, and share my videos please i'd like to see your comments like if you like this one if you have any style you would want me to do and all of that all right i had to adjust the camera Thank you so much, guys, for watching. I'll see you in my next video. Bye, guys. See our beautiful Gilly.